Now, there is nothing better than the flavor of great food to open up our minds. And that is the mindset of the owners of Canada's first Palestinian restaurant. And it's right here in Vancouver. With us now, Sobi and Tamam Zobaidi. They own the place on Hastings. It is called Tamam. Hello to you both. Hello. Hello. I'm so glad to have you there. And Sobi, thanks for doing double duty with the camera work there as well. I mean, your your kitchen looks looks cozy. It looks inviting. What, what kind of atmosphere would you say you've created? Uh, I, I think we created a very, like, sort of uh, a family-style dinner uh, restaurant where anybody who eats here, they feel like they're eating in their own kitchen. Uh, most of our customers, they know us by our names. We know most of our customers by name. Uh, so, yes, that's the, that's the atmosphere. It's chill, it's mellow, it's jazzy. We only play jazz music and we make fantastic food. Oh, oh, fantastic food like what? What are some of the, the, the typical flavors you work with? Okay, here, show you For some. For example, now I made some hummus and hina sauce, some kippe. I will open it for you. Kippe is like very traditional. It's like a ground beef with onions and a little bit of spices and almond. We fried it and we stuff it and fry it. And then I have mutabal, olives, homemade hot sauce, and then... I will make some cauliflower in the fryer. Being prepared in the fryer. Cauliflower in the fryer, I see. Okay, okay. Yeah. You're, you're taking us on a little bit of a wild ride with the, with the camera there, but would you say you had uh, a signature dish? A signature dish, yes. We, yes, we do. And uh, I will start turning upside down right now, which is like a. This is, uh, well, I want to show you, like, so this is one of the most popular uh, dishes in, in also uh, Arab Mediterranean cuisine, which is the stuffed grape leaves. Now, these are grape leaves that are stuffed mm. and cooked, slow cooking for many hours, and they are vegan and gluten-free. Yeah. And this is probably the most popular dish we have at the restaurant. It uh, looks amazing. Uh, wait till you taste it, Gloria. I hope, I wish you can <laughs> taste it right now because it is amazing. So I will put a few and, and then I will finish it with uh, lamb shank. Oh, there she goes. I wish this, this was smell o vision I really do because I can uh. just imagine <laughs> the aroma. So we'll add some lamb shank with the grape The lamb shanks along with the stuffed grape leaves. Yes. Oh, that yeah, This is a very popular dish, uh, especially in winter time. Oh, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And you know, you, you made a mention of art and uh, how did you get involved with the, the children's book? It's called Arab Fairy Tale Feasts. Oh, yes. Uh, this is like a few years ago. The authors, uh, let me... Uh, uh, yeah. A few years ago, the publishers of the, who are uh, Vancouverites, they have a publishing house in Granville Island, Trade Wind Books. So they published um, uh, the Chinese fairy tale feasts four or five years ago. I bought the book with my daughter and we read it, spent about eight months reading it because we would read it in the night, the story. Then we, on the weekend, we do the recipe. And the book is uh, same thing. So uh, we love the book and we know the authors, the publishers and who uh, have been with us. So they've been asking us to work with them on an Arab edition for uh, this series, which we did. And the book is fabulous. It has uh, Arab folk tales. Yeah. And uh, each tale has a story and each story mentions a dish and we wrote the recipes for those dishes. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful project. And I know you're working on a cookbook, so we shall be watching for the Tamam cookbook as well. Thank you so much. You, you've warmed up our day. Uh, uh, thank you, Gloria. Thank yes. you for, uh, uh, I, wish, yes. I wish I can send these to you now. <laughs> yes. And I Do wish I, I could try it. <laughs> take, <laughs> take good care. Bye-bye for now. Bye, Bye. take care.